So by the title of this video, you guys can see who this video is about. It's about George Kittle. Um, I posted a vid the other day from Twitter from this uh, so-called tight end university that Kittle is uh, holding along with Travis Kelsey and uh, Greg Olson. Um, yeah, so they're all together doing this uh, camp for up-and-coming tight ends and this and that. Um, and I never really said anything about it until last night. Um, I was in Jay in the Bay stream, and I asked him a question about what does he think about all this uh, rubbing shoulders with the enemy, so to speak. I'm not of uh, I'm I'm old school. I'm the, from the type of mindset because I'm a little bit older than some of the 49er fans out here out there. Um, not that all of you guys are young, and even if you are young, it's not a knock. I'm not I'm not uh, questioning your fandom. But I grew up during a time where uh, people treated their opponents as an enemy, kind of, so to speak. Um, there wasn't a lot of uh, rubbing shoulders in the off season. Your obsession was trying to get better so that you can beat them, especially during like the Niners Cowboy era. Um, it's just a different time, you know, the social media era. I get it. Um, I'm just old and curmudgeony, but seeing how close. Kittle and Kelsey are bothers me. Um, Kelsey was part of the team that beat us in the Super Bowl a couple of year, uh, a couple years ago, and uh, I just don't take too kindly to it. Um, it just bothers me. Um, the other thing that bothers me about the whole thing is uh, the chance of getting injured. You know, um, there is uh, a chance you can overtrain in the off season or just go at it so hard all the time that you never allow your body to rest. And I feel like Kittle is one of those guys and seeing how he's injured pretty much all the time and plays through it. Most of the time, uh, it's a concerning thing for me because, uh, you want a guy as fresh as possible coming in training camp. And, uh, you know, there has been talk that, if you train too much, your your body, your ligaments, your joints, um, they can fatigue on you, and that can cause certain types of injuries to happen. To me, I'm just of the mindset that uh, you know you train, you get yourself ready, but you also give your body a little bit of a time to recover. And uh, Kittle has shown if you if you follow him on uh, Instagram, I mean he's nonstop all the time. Um, that's what makes him great, but that's what also I think gets him hurt. So between the overly friendly, uh, way too close uh, brotherly banter of all these guys in the off season, and just the overtraining of all these guys in the off season, especially Kittle, it just it just bothers me a little bit. Again, I'm older; I'm 41. A lot of you guys that listen to me, or at least some of you, are probably 10 to 15 years younger than me. So, some of the stuff that bothers me may not bother you, but just thinking out loud and I figured I'd put it on video and record it so let me know what you guys think Do you think that George Kittle needs to calm it down a little bit and relax a little bit before training camp to rest his body or am I just overreacting and should I stop getting all stressed out over the fact that he's gotten really close to Travis Kelsey and that Kelsey was part of the team that beat us in the Super Bowl in 2019 let me know what you think in the com in the comments down below. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and uh, if anything drops of any worth, I will see you guys uh, hopefully on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I will be interviewing a Seattle Seahawks YouTuber by the name of Squabo Says. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And until then, guys, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye, guys.